Our Lord in heaven, we appreciate you. We bless your name. We pray that the grace will rest upon us today, even in the service in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for prayer and answer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. When we talk about the yoke, we are talking about loads and burdens and problems and challenges that are associated with the people. Many people are challenged and loaded with loads that are too heavy for them to carry. Many people are surrounded with crises that are manipulating their entire existence. Many people are so immersed and submerged into spiritual problems that they cannot ordinarily come out of. But there is a scripture that is so powerful. It appears like a common scripture. And because when scriptures are common, people don't value them. That is why sometimes God takes me to such scriptures and say, look at that scripture very well. The two scriptures we are going to use right now, they are very common scriptures. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. Without even reading it, if I say you should quote it, many people will quote it off my heart. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. And it shall come to pass in that day that his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. The yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. This is a very, very common scripture. It shall come to pass in that day that the body will be taken from off thy shoulder and the yoke from off thy neck. What is yoke? What do you mean by yoke? Yokes, like I told you, are heavy loads that restrict freedom. They restrict movement and progress and whatever you can call it. They are invisible bodies that have become invisible partners that weary people. They are monetary spirits that have been assigned to co yoke with the human being. Listen. This yokes are not visible, they are not tangible, they are not in any way practically seen. They, they are there as invisible spirits that have been assigned to co yoke with you. It should be noted there for that. Every human being under the sun is invariably under the influence of certain yokes. Any human being under the influence of certain yokes. These yokes are used to connect two ideas, two people or two things together. And if the idea or people that are different originally are connected together by yoke, it means that the yoke is going to influence the decision or the original decision of the man. What I'm saying is simply this. Ordinary yoke is a wood that is tied to two animals. An animal is here, an animal is here. You put the wood so that the two of them can go at the same speed. If this one had a higher speed originally, the one that had a, 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 a lower speed will drag back the one that had a higher speed. Am I right? And that is what we are saying that the yoke that is upon top people's neck is the yoke that is retarding and restricting their movement, their progress, and the way of life that originally belonged to them. Some people are fast runners, some are slow runners. If you tie two people together, you know in those days we used to do one race in this uh, school. I go, is it a two-legged race? They tie the two legs together. Bah, bah, bah. If the two sprinters are not of this course status, one will drag one behind. Am I right? That's exactly what we're saying. And those of you in school, do they still do that sports now? Yes, sir. Fine. And that is 
is exactly what we say. That when you yoke two things together, two people together, two ideas together, the weaker idea will tend to slow down and destroy and frustrate the better idea. There are demons that have been used to people. There are ideas that have been manipulated to take over people's thinking and people's life. They are called yokes. And they are burdening. They are so heavy. They are so frustrating that many people are under their supervision. Many people are under their tenacity. They become landlords to you. Today, you are getting broken off from them in Jesus' name. I say you will get broken off from them in Jesus' name. If an idea or people differ in original way, the weaker one, like I told you, will survive. Let me tell you five things that will influence Satan's yoke. The influence of Satan's yoke, five things that stand as influence that are part of Satan's yoke. When Satan's yoke are upon you, five things happen. Number one, the yoke stagnates you. They will stagnate you. That is to say, you will remain in the same spot. You will remain in the same place. They stagnate you. You don't move forward. Two, the yoke will force their will on you. The yoke will force their will on you. Three, the yoke will compel people to go backwards and the direction of the choice of the yoke. The direction of the force, whichever direction the yoke wants you to go, will take you down. Four, the yoke will stress and suffer the bearer of such body. Stressful, you suffer you, you will work in labor. Tirelessly, but nothing is happening. Then number five, the yokes will make life different from what life should be to you. The yoke, you know, that is why the people's life they differ in different forms. Well, let me remind you, it is because of a particular thing that is the yoke. But the Bible is saying that it shall come to pass in that day, and, and today is the day that the body shall be taken from off thy shoulder. And the yoke shall be destroyed by the reason of anointing. That is to say, it is only the anointing that can destroy that yoke. Hello? There's a yoke. Yoke of suffering. Yoke of labor. Yoke of failure. Yoke of perpetual disgrace. Whatever that is responsible for that yoke, I am told by the word of God that it shall be destroyed the anointing. And it is only anointing that can destroy that yoke. Grammar cannot destroy the yoke. Knowledge of the human being cannot destroy the yoke. It is only anointing that can destroy the yoke. And as I speak the anointing to you this day, as I prophesy upon you this day, the anointing will touch you in the name of Jesus. And the yoke will be broken, destroyed from your life in Jesus' name. You know, sometimes I like yoke to be destroyed because if it is broken, the pieces will be there. They can still come together. But when it is destroyed, it is destroyed. And the Bible tells me that the yoke will be destroyed. And when the yoke is destroyed, look at Matthew chapter 11. In Matthew chapter 11, Jesus himself was speaking. It was not a prophet that was speaking, but it was God himself. In Matthew chapter 11, in verse 29. Take my yoke upon you. Uh -huh. So Jesus has a yoke. I told you that everybody under the sun has a form, one form of yoke or the other. It could be heavy yoke. It could be light yoke. Jesus said, take my yoke upon yourself. My guiding spirit. He said, take verse 29. Matthew chapter 11 verse 29 to 30. Take my yoke upon you. And learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is uh, easy, and my body is. In, 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 the, in the Old Testament, it was saying that it will destroy the yoke. Because the old, the old was being destroyed before the new can come. 
The old, the yoke of burden of sorrow, the yoke of sickness, the yoke of failure. The, see, 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 see. The yoke we're talking about, these are loads that are upon people. People are suffering, people are lamenting. People are running from place of prayer to place of prayer. People are fasting and they are fasting without result. People are out there doing these nasty things. But they didn't know that it is because there is a yoke upon their neck. And when the yoke is upon your neck, it means that there is an invisible person called sorrow. In time with your own. In the, in the run, in the run, in the run like this. Hello, are you listening to me? I'm supposed to be going here now. The, the, the yoke of body, the, the drum in there, drum in there. I, I see what I'm saying. So the yoke of sorrow, the yoke of failure, the yoke of poverty. When you're going this way, because you are not of the same parents, because you two do not belong to the same class, because the two of you do not belong to the same lineage, he, death, sorrow, failure, suffering, poverty, you will be going here, I will be going here. Be, so if one is going here, one is going here, we will not be stagnant yet. We will not remain in the same place. Sometimes it is more powerful, you will be dragging you back, you say you can't go there. And you hear what I'm saying? It's an invisible spirit, an invisible force, an invisible power that mutates and manipulates people. That is the yoke tied to people. And the Bible says it come to pass that that yoke shall be destroyed from off thy neck. The body will be taken from off thy shoulder and the yoke shall be destroyed from off thy neck. The yoke carries the body. It is very heavy body. You keep suffering and smiling. You know people suffer and smile like the land of the body. People suffer and they smile. You suffering and smiling, suffering and smiling are not fine. This year, this will be fine with you. Because the yoke must be destroyed. I said the yoke must be destroyed. And the reason why the yokes that are destroyed are reassembled is that sometimes when yokes are destroyed, the new yoke is not planted in. That is why the Jesus Christ says, say, come unto me, all you that labor and women, and I will give you rest. He said, take my yoke upon you. Take my yoke upon you. That is to say, I am going to put once that other the negative yoke is destroyed, I will give you the Holy Spirit, and it will go with you. It will guide you. It will speak to you. He say, and you hear a voice from behind you. He say, don't go that way. Go this way. And that is what my brother said. My sister said. He said, do this business. I repeat it to you again. If you are tied to only one form of business, you will not understand what I'm saying, but try that business that you have never tried before. Try it, God will shock you. And if you try it, within six months, within six months, how many months did I say? Within six months, God will shock you. And when you just lay your hand on it, ah, I start this business with just a hundred thousand dollars. Six months, I'm um, counting one million plus. Oh, I want to sit down now. I want to do something good. Uh, you know, the only fear I have is that uh, I told you some time ago, I have a young man. This young man was finding things very difficult. And then when I called him come to church, I was, I was you know, pastoring the location church. The young man, I said, come to church. He said, I want to come to church. He doesn't want to have anything. He has one trouser. And wash it. So if you wash it, it will tie it away so that they will dry it before you wear it. I, I, I see it now. So the thing really touched me, I was touched. So, uh, and then, uh, so, you know, some people, when they are giving excuse for not going to church this day and don't have money, you might think they are just misbehaving. You know? Some people, it is real. Are you hearing me? It is real, some people. Don't think that things are fine with you, things are fine with everybody. It's not like that, though. And so, I said, young man, come. I want to hold a fast with you. I had a fast and prayer with him. What do you do? He said, you will go to the boat, push, cut the roots, we will shake the people back. And it was in the village. I said, okay, that is what we want to do. We'll pray. Before he 
same roads. You know this motor saw that they use to cut with the bush. They started carrying for the people. They were there. Started coming to church. To the church. After some time, it caught an opportunity. I can't remember how I got an opportunity. So it's not, it's not, it was not up to a week or one. I'm telling you that. Come on, God, they do it. I hear me now. It get, got connected. In Indonesia, they ask him to be supplying wood for this water fire to the cook in Indonesia. I don't know. He would gather the woods in our supply. He started gathering. To, is it 9 11? Eh? Yes, the guy put the shoes closed now. The guy the bone now. So, on Sunday, I said, Why don't I? He said, You tell me, Sharud. On Sunday, yeah, Satan is okay. Please, if God is prospering you, don't use God's time on. Are you hearing me? If God is prospering you, don't use God's time. Because it will so Satan will still do that. This prosperity will come on their time of service. He will begin to engage you, engage you, engage you. The young man, he, 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 he went to another level. And I said, I don't think there was four at that time. I don't think there was four. At the time you enter with Kutonishai, John the Lord is coming. The, the boys here now. You've been gathering put the wood in the bush. You, you, don't, you don't get boys now. Are you hearing me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get workers. What I'm saying is this. This year is your year. It is because the yoke of suffering that was upon him was destroyed by the risen anointing. And the yoke of Jesus was placed upon him. Only that you will not use the opportunity to stop going to church, to stop doing the work of God, to stop walking in the hand of God. If you are here and you are working for God, you are coming for service very regularly. And you know, I. I was with uh, my girl this morning. We went to buy a research car somewhere and I was like, ah, man, you're not coming to church again. He goes, man. I said, the other time you came to church here, yeah, you sat here quietly. Pastor, pray for me. Business is not good. And we prayed. Now, if you go to his shop, he can't attend to me because of the rush here and there. Yeah. So I was telling him this morning, just this morning. I said, oh, man, man. Uh, so this is why you call to bless people again to bless them our hand. Hello. Yours will not be the same. What I'm telling you is that by the reason of this morning's anointing, I am seeing the anointing, maybe I'm not seeing it. By the reason of this morning's anointing, your breakthrough has come. And this breakthrough will make you closer to God in Jesus' name. Oh, we've tested the people. The young man no longer, he no longer come to show himself. That young man, he was now on the wheel of the chair, lowering roots, and God, God bless me. And he said, like, I get all kind of attitude. Me, I go brag you, I brag him, I didn't even call him again. You know why? Because he is insulting God. Now he and God will just know me and him. Amen. So, the point is this. By the anointing, the yoke is broken and a new yoke is planted. These are the two things I want you to know. The yoke, former one, is broken, destroyed, and a new yoke is planted. A new yoke will be planted upon somebody. And if you want it this morning, I want you to do something for me. What I want you to do for me is this recognize the former yoke that was upon you. You know, this morning, I wrote five things about myself that I don't like. I sat down and I wrote the five things about myself and all that. And I know God does not like those five things. Are you hearing me now? Five things I wrote them down. This thing, this thing, this thing, this thing. I don't like them about myself. I want to work on myself. So the very first thing you're going to do about yourself, my Lord, I'm going to examine and assess yourself. What are those yokes that are not good? What are those? That's, that's the only way you can get no perfection. And those yokes in me, what is it that 
You know, do something is not given at present. It's not recognized by people. I said, receive the yoke of Christ. Amen. He said, take you my yoke upon your hearts and learn of me. For my yoke is easy and my body is light. I decree by the power of resurrection, by the power of God, receive the yoke of Christ. The yoke of deliverance. The yoke of freedom. The yoke of increase. The yoke of good health. The yoke of healing. Take it in Jesus' name. As from today you will not be sick again. As from today you will not lack again. As from today you will be fruitful. Every unfruitfulness is overshadowed by the yoke of fruitfulness from Jesus in Jesus' name. Take it now. Receive it. Receive it. I cover this new yoke of Jesus that is upon you with the blood of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. Say I receive several times. One. I, I receive. Two. I receive. Three. I receive. Four. I receive. Five. I receive. Six. I receive. Seven. I receive. Receive in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I cover you and your blessings with the blood of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. May healing come upon this young man who may be prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Every sickness of the truth, cancer, I take authority over the power. You are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Wherever you are, under the sun, in the hospital, in the clinic, anywhere, you are healed. Amen. And the glory goes to God alone in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for prayer. And in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.